Hey there, this is Han Allred in the studio, making Space Face, uh, my documentary. So earlier this month, I had a spiritual awakening. I think some people call it a Kundalini awakening. Uh, some people refer to it as Christ consciousness. And uh, I guess I just I want to make a follow up video to my last video and just I guess tell tell everybody where I'm at. Uh, it's been about two weeks since I've come down from the high of the experience. So it started just before August and the peak was August 8th. August 8th was like the most extreme. And uh, it's really been all good. The only like weird stuff, like negative stuff that's come out of it is really just exposing people's expectations of me. Uh, like certain people are, you know, they're already attached to this existing idea of me, but the idea of me is really more projection put on me and not the real me. And in this experience and the confidence it's given me, and yeah, just how, how it's made me feel fearless uh, and authentic and not driven by anxiety and fear. I, I don't want to be put in a box. I, I want to be my authentic self and my authentic self is like love. And there's some people who you could love too much. Like for some people, they believe you could love too much. And, you know, I, I get it to a big extent, like a big thing in my experience, like, although I still consider myself a chaos magician and one not to follow rules, I, I definitely found Jesus in it and like I have a love for Jesus and these other spiritual figures and just religions in general and spirituality that I didn't have before. I was very cynical before, although I, I, I feel like I approached everything very intellectually, thinking like, ah, oh, magic, it's psychology. This is a way to kind of just like convince myself to believe in myself but the more I dabbled with that stuff it it just unraveled into a world of spirituality and I'm I'm grateful for that I didn't expect that and just thinking of you know myself and my biases and where I was not that long ago if you know, if someone really close to me, all of a sudden, like my sister, <laughs> get, you know, get all super into Jesus, I would have been a hater. And, you know, I think it's crazy. And, oh, you're just in a cult. And this is some bullshit. Like, you know, I'm not following anybody. It's just my inner guide. So, like, I have people who are trying to, like, convince me I'm crazy. But I'm not trying to convince anybody else of anything. They could think I'm crazy. I've experienced something that's real to me. It's changed my life, uh, like in great ways. So like the newfound confidence, like I could be here on the internet and say all sorts of stupid stuff. And you know what? I'm just another stupid person. So it, it doesn't matter. Uh, but like big, big things like I, definitely had hardcore ADHD with all sorts of like just insane habitual things I would do like being on forums like music forums just like to a to a disgusting degree being obsessed with you know things I love but like you know my addiction to like audio plugins and stuff was just like next level and it, it's because I was constantly like, I had this hole I was trying to fill. And 
you know, getting into like Eurorack synths. It's like, oh yeah, I just need that one more oscillator. If I have that oscillator and this filter, then I got 303 in here and blah, 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 blah. And then it's like, you get it. But then so quickly, I'm just not happy. I'm like, oh, okay, well, you know, I, I gotta have a wavetable oscillator too. And it just goes forever and ever. And like, there's no real satisfaction. And you know, that that's like, done me a lot of good and I've gotten really deep into things because of that but it's really all been trying to fill this hole that I feel I feel was filled through this experience I had I, I think it was magical and I definitely believe in source universe God I, I kind of like God but you know, I don't think it matters what you call it. Uh, I believe, I'm a believer now. So yeah, I just wanted to say that, you know, you know, things like, like I, I'm, yeah, I'm not on forums and obsessively doing things. Like I'd be picking up my scalp all the time. And that was like something to where I was like getting all, I'd get all scabby and was doing it for the longest time. And then I started taking Adderall, which helped all sorts of things. But then I'd be picking even more at my head. And through this experience, uh, as it started happening, I didn't want Adderall to be the reason. So I s started like cutting my doses down to the point where now I'm not taking it at all anymore. And those things that like mean just neurotically picking at myself and looking at forums and my phone with like no like I, I don't even know what I'm doing I'm just like grabbing my phone it's like I'm a, a program I'm, I'm not doing that stuff anymore uh, my scalp is like totally healed I haven't been picking at it at all so all these things that were just struggling and so painful it's like all of a sudden I have this experience that makes me feel connected to source, to everything, makes me have deep love for everything. And uh, it's really been good. Just, yeah, like, like I said, the only thing is, I guess, just triggering other people's internal traumas and like dealing with like the expectations of people expect me to be this thing and I'm in this box but if I get out of the box, if I get on YouTube and start freely saying my opinions, which are that I love everybody, that I love everybody, that like, yeah, there's people that do bad things. Those are like bad actions. And I think people should be held accountable. But like, I know now that we're all connected and I know that I love everybody because I love me. I love God. God is a mirror. Like, and, uh, yeah, so for whoever needs to hear that, that that's my story. Here's my short little video this time. Uh, I don't know when I'm going to do this again. I'm just going to be working, making space face.